If I had to choose just one site to use to search for tech tools, I would use Common Sense Education. This is the first time I've ever said that. I have a lot of love for the pedagogy wheel and Kathy Schrock. This Common Sense, however, seems to be designed with the educator's purposes for searching in mind and offering a lot of flexibility for different types of searches. There's probably or might be some other features that I wanted to show you that perhaps you didn't explore last week. The first is, um, you know, you, if, if you go on EdTech Reviews, uh, you found, you went to this basically, which is a giant database. What you might not have noticed were some of the teaching with tech how-to videos, strategies you could use, teacher-created lessons, all searchable, all well curated, and uh, all pretty well organized and easy to search for. The other thing that I find super nice about Common Sense Education is their curated lists, their top picks list, and you can get to it either here or you can get to it through this kind of pop-up window, or you can, I'll show you in a second how you can get to it, but best free apps and websites for learning. So you look there, and it'll just give you uh, individual apps organized by math. Uh, it'll tell you they're free, obviously, and it gives, again, like a summary of each particular application. One of the other things I like about it is it has very often relevant to me, little things on the right, and not too many, so it's not clickbait. It does seem pretty well curated to the purpose of the search. Keep in mind, this is one group of people's opinion, but they're pretty decent folks here at um, Common Sense Education. Uh, but let's get back to the original search site. So if I'm looking for a math tool, uh, you probably saw this, but maybe not. Uh, but if I go to math, I can search uh, here again, ed tech tools, or there's math top picks list. Um, I can organize and sort by free or price or whatever. And there's some other information here that might be important if you, oops, sorry, if you only have like, uh, if you have to get it something that's useful or that's usable on a an iPad cart that you have, or if it's Android specific, so or if all you have is a Mac computer, if you know you can search by platform, but it gives you a list pretty well. You can sort by most recently updated, uh, learning rating, privacy rating, uh, relevance and title. I tend to not find that functional unless you have something specific in mind. Um, but just some really nice things there. The other thing that I find helpful by uh, curated category is the top picks list. And this will be a bunch of lists related to math uh, ed tech tools. So the first list is cool math games for middle school. The next, digital graphing tools, great games, app sites for geometry, STEM apps for higher order thinking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, the thing that, um, two things that I find most helpful is A, they're very well curated in my experience, and B, they're well organized for the user. That's who this website and all these bits of information were designed. So my my guess is it'll be helpful for many of you to focus in on one particular site and just use that. That doesn't mean you can't use other sites. Um, but if you're searching and feeling overwhelmed and you have to start somewhere, this would probably be a, be a pretty good place to do so.